I'm only, thank you, Black Jungle, for five more Brazilian reais. I'm only using RSSI DBM nowadays. Why do people keep using signal quality with ELRS? Should I? Yes, you absolutely should. Here's the problem. RSSI DBM is how loud your signal is. So if I were to start whispering really quietly, you could still hear me, right? You can still hear me right now because I'm in a very quiet room. But you can imagine that if I was talking just that quietly and we were in a, like a, a crowded bar or a rock concert, then if I talked that quietly, you couldn't hear me. So the question of can your signal get through is two things. It's the loudness of the signal relative to the loudness of the noise. RSSI DBM is only the loudness of the signal. That doesn't tell you anything. Now, if I have a signal that's very loud, like negative 40 dBm, well, like, <laughs> there's not a lot of noise that is that powerful. So, like, at a certain point, you look at your RSSI, D RSSI dBm and you go, I'm good. But, like, between, let's say, negative 80, below, let's say, negative 80 dBm, you could have noise up there that's causing you to have problems and you just don't know. So by looking at LQ, link quality is the percent of good packets that are getting in. If your LQ is 100, you know that, you know, th the signal's getting through. And if your LQ is dropping, you know the signal's not getting through. RSSI DBM is only one part of the puzzle. RSSI DBM is used for two things, in my opinion. The first is detecting bad hardware. If I know that for a typical Express LRS receiver, if it's one meter from the transmitter and the transmitter is at 250 milliwatts, I don't know, I'm making this up, then at one meter distance, I should have about minus 40 dBm. If I know those numbers, I made those numbers up, but whatever they are, you, you would measure them in real life. Then if I think I have a damaged antenna or a damaged receiver or something, then I can just check that and RSSI dBm tells me if my shit is damaged. Um, the other thing RSSI DBM is good for is if I see my LQ is dropping and I know my RSSI DBM is high, that tells me I'm experiencing interference. If I see my L uh, LQ is dropping and my RSSI DBM is low, that just tells me I flew too far away. Yeah, basically... If you have no noise in the area, then RSSI DBM is perfectly acceptable to use as a range limiter. But you don't know, in almost all cases, you're not magically aware that you have zero RF traffic near you, right? So, well, yeah. And, and, and the threshold, the RSSI DBM threshold depends on your packet rate. Right. But I'm just saying, like, let's, because now it shows you next to the packet rate when you set it in the Lewis. So let's say you know your yeah. number, even if you're flying down that. to your number. You yeah. know, it's, uh, you still got to watch it. The other thing to mention is that there's also a signal to noise ratio, SNR, that yeah. you can add. Um, and they do use SNR for, I believe, dynamic power. So there is some validity to the SNR number. It's maybe not perfect, but it is a good value to know um, how close you are to that signal to noise ratio. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But LQ is ultimately like, are the packets getting there? Everything else is supplemental information to, are the packets getting there? One thing to keep in mind, though, about LQ is LQ tends to stay high and stay high and stay high and then drop off a cliff, right? So as you approach your DBM limit, as long as you have, like, I mean, some, some can go to negative signal to noise ratio. So let's say that as long as you have whatever, zero dB signal to noise ratio, you're gonna, your packets are going to get through. So if you, if you have like 3 dB signal to noise ratio, you're really close to the threshold, but you might still have a high LQ. And then as you drop into that danger zone, your LQ will very quickly drop off. So that's the reason why, L, that's the weakness of LQ is like you don't get a lot of warning with LQ that shit's about to get bad. Whereas if you're watching your RSSI DBM, you can see it kind of dropping off more gradually and make a judgment call. 